Hizem Wi-Fi Extender Installation Guide. Wanna know how does Hizem Wi-Fi Extender work? Let's see all the methods. Method number one. Connect using WPS button, if supported by your router. Plug the extender into a power socket near to your wireless router and wait for the power light to come on. Press the WPS button on your main router for 1 to 2 seconds. Within 30 seconds press the WPS button on the extender for 1 to 2 seconds. After 30 seconds, a network will appear. The network will have the same name as your current network with the suffix dash 2.4G. The network will have the same password as your current network. Method number 2, connect via mobile phone. Plug the extender into a power socket near to your wireless router and wait for the power light to come on. Use your smartphone to search in the Wi-Fi list and connect to the extender's Wi-Fi network Hizem 2.4G. It should be an open network. Launch your web browser and enter 192.168.188.1 in the address field. Enter the default password admin and click login. LF access fails, please check if the correct SSID Hizem 2.4G is connected. Select the repeater mode and click next. Wait patiently. Scan and select the Wi-Fi network you want to extend. Type the password of your main router, and click Next. Set your extender SSID and password. If you don't want to modify it please proceed to the next step. Check again and confirm the wireless information. Click Start Connect and wait 20 seconds. Wait patiently. Connect to your extender's SSID and enjoy an enhanced Wi-Fi experience. The new Wi-Fi SSID defaults to the router name plus dash 2.4G. Enter the same password as the main router to connect and access the network. Your Wi-Fi extender is now set up and ready to go. Still no connection from the new network? If you are having problems with the signal strength, please try moving the Wi-Fi extender closer to your router. Why can't I access the network after connecting to a new network? When you select the router you want to expand on the management page, please enter the same password as your main router, otherwise you will not be able to access the network even after setting up. Signal can drop due to external influences a microwave oven, Cell towers nearby a neighbor's Wi-Fi on the same channel, walls, and partitions in a building made of certain materials. Move the extender to the best position which is halfway between your router and the area that has poor Wi-Fi signal.